Good evening. In a word, it was a Finding our place in society becomes a multifaceted, hellish challenge. And during our incredibly short time on Earth, particularly for young guys like me, people often feel neglected despite the ambition to help set society move in the right direction. Grappling not only with the looming prospect of being neglected and forgotten after death, but also the unsettling possibility of being overlooked even before. So the question arises, should we be upset? What do you do? when the world doesn't appreciate your greatest efforts. Well, if you're like me, sometimes you can't help but sulk, confide about it to your friends. Or maybe you take those walks by yourself and ponder humanity's lack of self-awareness. Yet perhaps there's a universal truth in realizing that everyone, at some point, feels unnoticed. I mean, think about the things you're personally proud of, no one's ever heard of. I've spent my entire life trying to get good at my own craft as an entertainer, in the arts, in music, etc. But I have to say, the initial motivation to learn those things when I was younger greatly differs from the reason I choose not to give them up now. But if such recognition came, it begs the question, should I even desire it? And here's a better question. What if you saved the world and no one noticed? In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Link is our primary example of someone who knows this struggle. And while Nintendo hasn't exactly shown us a Link that expresses himself exactly as a normal human would, what with his lack of speech and emotionless expression, he is, on the other hand, a vehicle for the player to experience a different world. I like how another great video, Ocarina of Time, a masterclass in subtext, put it. It was the saddest Zelda game no one noticed. To provide a bit of context, Link is an outcast brought to the hidden Kokiri forest as an infant. Though Link, as a Hylian, was very different from the rest of its inhabitants, the Kokiri. The immortal children who remained eternally so unless they left the forest grounds, in which case, they died. Moreover, all Kokiri had fairies which guided them through life as companions, though until being summoned, Link did not have one. However, one day a blue fairy known as Navi, guided by the forest spirit, the Great Deku Tree, came his way to awaken Link to rid the tree of a mysterious illness growing from within. After saving the Great Deku Tree by slaying the evil Goma, the tree bestows him one of the three spiritual stones needed to obtain the Master Sword, otherwise known as the Blade of Evil's Bane. Link soon leaves and embarks on his journey to defeat the bosses and obtain the other two spiritual stones. On the way, he meets Princess Zelda, who quickly forms a bond with Link. Upon re-entering Hyrule Castle Town after receiving all of the stones, Link is confronted by a Ganondorf in pursuit of Zelda, attempting to flee on horseback. Zelda makes eye contact with Link, throws the game's namesake into the moat under the drawbridge, under which Link picks up the instrument, learns the Song of Time, and enters the nearby temple to awaken the Master Sword from its slumber. Due to his youthful age, Link is frozen in time for seven years to awaken the right age to wield the blade. Meanwhile, Ganon uses his time to overthrow Hyrule. Link awakens to a castle town in ruin. Now, without giving too long a synopsis, let's just say Link defeats Ganon and saves Hyrule from impending darkness by sealing him away thanks to the sages of the land. However, Zelda, realizing Link lost seven years of his life to save the world, uses the Ocarina of Time to send him back to the original timeline. Despite Link's heroic deeds done as an adult seven years in the future, no one in the childhood timeline, not even Zelda herself, remembers him. Like many other Nintendo characters, Link doesn't talk, so we've never gotten a chance to see these emotions humanized like someone such as Solid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid series. Though I see Link as a tragic hero who continued to move on despite no one knowing his significance. Link's journey in the sequel, Majora's Mask, shows us the closest thing to a semi-broken Link, if you will. Navi. The fairy which guided him out of the forest disappeared at the end of Ocarina. Now, I don't personally know if we're supposed to relate to this on a deeper, more personal level. However, the feeling that we've done something great only for it to be forgotten in time is a running theme in the life of many of my friends. Another example of a hero who saved the world without receiving recognition is Samwise from J.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. While Frodo Baggins is often recognized as the primary hero in the story for carrying the One Ring to Mount Doom, Sam plays a crucial role in supporting and ultimately saving Frodo. 
After Frodo is incapacitated by the ring's influence, and the treacherous journey takes its toll on him, Samwise carries Frodo up the slopes of Mount Doom. When Frodo is unable to continue, Sam takes the burden upon himself and manages to help Frodo destroy the ring, thwarting the plans of Sauron. Despite his pivotal role, Samwise doesn't receive the same level of recognition as Frodo. His heroism largely goes unnoticed by the wider world, and he returns to the Shire to a quiet life, never seeking glory or acknowledgement for his crucial role in saving Middle-earth. It's almost as though we have a duty to do something, be it saving the world, caring for our family, or even just for personal growth. Recognition from others should be the last thing we strive for. In my early adulthood, I had a lot of ambition to change the world, because I wanted to do something as culturally relevant as a rock star. And I think many of my American viewers felt that way growing up, as we lived in a culture that told us from the get-go that we can do whatever we wanted just because we wanted to. But as I entered the workforce, I slowly recognized people may not acknowledge our days of toil. For me, it's like spending a year on a painting, expecting that at the end, a group of people with their cameras are going to come running to see your masterpiece, only to realize that even when you show a picture or bring it up forcefully in conversation, you may not even get a quarter of the praise that you wanted. In this way, Link's disappearance from the adult timeline in Ocarina of Time subtly reminds us that one day, all our deeds in life may indeed all be forgotten, emphasizing the importance of appreciating the present and effort made for itself, and not necessarily for the others who may or may not clap for you. I've always thought about it this way, that we must confront the reality that we are already forgotten, with stories misunderstood, with us abstractly facing our own demise with very few people who want to listen. Older people I've met have told me more or less the same thing in different words, and that is, the worst thing about getting older is having so many interesting stories to tell, and no one who wants to listen to them. Unless you're as significant as Socrates or Aristotle, what we've done and said throughout our lives will endure only through word of mouth and the fleeting remnants of what we leave behind, which too may eventually disappear in maybe as soon as a hundred years. However, I believe there's a silent, humble hero in all of us, like Link, we can recognize, who confronts his own insignificance. Whoever that person is, we must embrace the silent hero within. Some people might say that we have a moral duty to fulfill, and that we need to think less of ourselves to feel happier about it. While others might tell you it's less about the group-oriented mindset, and more about accepting that beyond the here and the now, and the people in your life in this very moment, very few people actually want to know about you, and few probably ever will. The way we accept this is shedding ourselves of that expectation, and continue on like Link, or even Samwise, or even then like Bilbo, who barely got any recognition after he returned to the Shire at the end of The Hobbit. Nevertheless, Link's tale resonates with our own uncelebrated victories, urging us to recognize the common thread of our uncharted paths. The journey doesn't always conclude with applause, but circles back, prompting us to find fulfillment in overcoming our own challenges. In the echoes of Hyrule's silence, Link's journey becomes a universal tale of sacrifice, resilience, and the pursuit of purpose, resonating with players as they navigate their own quests in the game of life.